How you doing folks? Welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. Hope you're having a great day. I am. So as you can see, I'm driving a new ship. That's right. I finally got in my Cleveland. Oh, I like this ship. I really, really, really like this ship. Uh, this is about my 10th game in it, I think. And uh, except for maybe two before that, they've all been crap. But that's not unusual for me. It takes me a few games with a, a new ship or new tank or new airplane, whatever, to really start using it well because I got to learn where its strength is going to lie. And with the Cleveland, I've discovered because I. I thought, you know, it's a real badass ship, lots of guns, they reload fast, yada yada. I can like brawl with it. And yep, this is lag, and that's brutal. <laughs> um, I thought I could brawl with it, and it wound up not being the case. Um, first, I just don't have the health for when, you know, I go ahead like that, and I think that there's a, you know, a few ships right behind me, and you know how it goes. Uh, the guys, they don't say anything, they just turn around and run away, and you're kind of right there, and there's, you know, five enemy ships. You get wiped out, and then they call you a noob because they're too freaking stupid to come in and help you out. But um, here I'm staying out where my strength is, and uh, out of those five torpedo planes that just flew in, I killed four of them. And so that's what a cruiser does. Cruisers protect... Uh, ships, especially battleships, from torpedo planes, and they kill destroyers. That is, their bread and butter is killing destroyers and getting in there with the battleships and shooting down torpedo planes that are trying to hit them. So, having learned um, from being with bad teams, uh, what I really need to be doing with this ship here I found myself with a very good team and uh, I'm still using the same kind of standoff and use my fire rate and decent range to my advantage and I think that's really how you need to use this ship you don't have torpedoes or anything like that you're a full-on American pistols on the hip kind of gun I mean ship and that's how these these big boys work so I tend to stick with the battleships. I think that's where I, I do my best work is right there in this ship. Uh, but with its rate of fire and able to just kind of do stuff. You saw the multitasking. I was able to literally go after the uh, torpedo planes while still shooting at the destroyer that was over there. So this ship really makes it easy to do that. So coming up here, um, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm. This is a recording of a replay. This is my replay that I recorded because I forgot to record it in the first place. And uh, there's some shakiness that's going to go on here with uh, this war spot as it comes in at me. It even makes me feel kind of eh. So beware of that. If you have any kind of motion sickness, know that there's this weird side-to-side -side movement starting right about now. And so... This war spike, uh, we just tear him up and he's gone. Now I'm circling back around and I'm looking at where everybody is. And we're all on this side <laughs> and they're all on that side. It's just like the, the spawns kind of, you know, like the, the record player moved an inch. <laughs> and so now we're kind of like, okay, and I've got to all go back over to basically close to where we started. And so, there, uh, Red Hair Dave, who is the uh, battleship that was right behind me, uh, he's a smart guy, and he's the one I was kind of sticking up for with, uh, with my anti-aircraft fire. So at this point, I'm just going to uh, turn, and we're all headed back in the same kind of general area. Instead of taking a wrong way, long way around, or wrong way, which would be a good way to put it, um, we're all just going to take the direct route. And this is good to see because a lot of times when it gets like this, um, I'll see everybody else kind of doing the roundabout way, and you're kind of stuck in that. 
you know, if they're doing it, or otherwise, you know, you're by yourself and you get killed. So here it's um, good to see everybody kind of doing the smart thing and going directly instead of going around and try to go wide and all that stuff. And we're just going back. That's it. So we're going to go for a, a nice base defense. And I like how we're, we're set up. We're, I guess you can call us clustered. But we're not like, you know, rubbing, rubbing knees here. We're all together, but we're like in a, almost like a Roman phalanx, you know, just kind of a strategic grouping of us. And there's a Nicholas I spot behind us. And I'm like, oh, man, I thought about going after him, but then, um, nope, I'm staying with the guys. And, and this dude can just come after us and get himself killed because he's going to run into a bunch of guns. And that's how I, sp I spell when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and I saw this guy. I'm like, oh, oh, there's a shot. There goes the shot. I don't know I can hit that guy. So I'm just going to keep running. And uh, that was the, the Isokazi was the one I was just shooting at, or I was going to shoot at. I aimed down on him, but he disappeared. He's headed just beeline, absolutely beelining for our uh, aircraft carrier. If you don't know the abbreviations, a CV is an aircraft carrier. BB is battleship, CC is cruiser, and DD is destroyer. Fairly simple to understand. So here's the Omaha. He's the ship I just got out of. And I'm just, I'm trying to catch this freaking Isokazi and I make a mistake here. All three of those ships have got my side. I'm literally concentrating just to stop this guy because our aircraft carrier is a, you know, really good dude and every single one of those miss. <laughs> um, so I need to kill this Isokazi. And this is what a Cleveland does. Look at that. Yep. I just nailed him hard. So, but I'm I'm in bad shape. Here I'm now. I'm on fire. I've already I used my um, repair kit a little ways back. So I'm just I'm gonna cook for a while. And it already looks like my ship is well done to start with. So it it fits. So here we're just shooting away at this guy, and yeah, he he's dead. So I'm gonna worry about the Wyoming now. To me, he's a greater threat than the other Cleveland because. There's at least three other ships kind of behind me and to the left or port that are focused on them. So I'm going to go ahead and work with the uh, other two battleships I'm working on, the Wyoming. And so here I'm just, and I was very surprised I got those hits. I, I fired off and didn't worry about it, started to make my turn, and there you go. Five hits and some good damage. And there you go. I can't do anything about it. I'm on fire again. I'm on low health. And I'm turning without being able to stop it for the next 25 seconds. <clears throat> so for that, I'm just going to go ahead and fire on this Cleveland. <laughs> the range of this gun just makes it so fun because, you know, everybody else would have been out of my range in the uh, Omaha. So, yeah, I just, I really, really like this ship. I really, really do. And as you can see, I'm about to... Um, come to the end of my game. Here comes uh, Clemson. I get some good shots off on this guy. And the base defense is the best thing I was able to get out of that. That was what we really, really needed. <clears throat> and that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. I love my new ship. And until next time, my friends. <laughs>